What's up? The ALCS was rained out last night. They're picking things right back up with game four tonight in the Bronx. Now with last night's rain out, there's been a whole bunch of conversation about who that really benefits more between the Astros and the Yankees. Now this is probably my Yankee fan bias talking here. But I honestly think that the rainout actually benefits the Yankees a little bit more than Houston, and here's why. I'll get into the Yankee bullpen in a bit, but right now, the Astros are going with Zach Greinke in Game 4 and Justin Verlander in Game 5. Now, we saw what the Yankees did to Greinke in Game 1. If you thought that was bad, listen to these numbers. Greinke, 15 starts against the Yankees. His ERA is 5.05. And that doesn't include Game 1. That's just regular season numbers. And in two postseason starts this year so far... Grinky has allowed nine earned runs and nine and two thirds innings. That's almost an ERA of nine on the dot. Now Grinky in the Bronx, five career starts. His ERA is 9.64. Now the Yankees get to match that up with Masahiro Tanaka, who literally has been one of the best postseason pitchers ever. He owns an ERA of 1.32 in the postseason. Now, if the Yankees don't win tonight, they don't deserve to win this series anyway. This isn't a game that the Yankees should win. This is the game that the Yankees need to win. Now, this is no disrespect to Justin Verlander here, but he's a game five starter and him starting in the Bronx is certainly an advantage for the Yankees rather than him starting in Houston. Justin Verlander, 11 regular season starts in the Bronx. His ERA is 4.09. His two postseason starts in the Bronx, He's allowed four earned runs in six and a third. That adds up to a 5.68 ERA. So through 13 total starts, including the postseason, Justin Verlander's ERA in New York is 4.24. Now here are Verlander's numbers since joining the Astros against the Yankees in Houston. Two regular season starts, three earned runs in 14 innings. That's a 1.93 ERA. In three postseason starts, He's allowed three earned runs in 22 and two-thirds innings, which is a 1-1-4 ERA. So in total, five starts in Houston against the Yankees, Verlander owns a 1.47 ERA against them. Now the Yankees are matching that up with James Paxson, who wasn't great at all in game two, only pitched two and a third. But overall, in his last 13 starts, he's been great. In his last 13 starts overall, including his two postseason starts, Paxton owns a 2.78 ERA. Now, I'm not sitting here and saying that the Yankees are absolutely going to shell Verlander in Game 5. I'm not saying that James Paxton is going to absolutely dominate and totally outperform Verlander in Game 5. But I think if you give the Yankees truth serum, they obviously would rather face Verlander at home than in Houston, and the numbers certainly prove it. And now this leaves the Astros with a couple of rough options for Game 6 and 7. Now, if the Yankees win the next two games... That forces the Astros to use Garrett Cole in Game 6 and then either go with all of the bullpen or Grinky on 3-day rest in Game 7 if necessary. If the Astros go up 3-2, then they're probably going to use all of their bullpen for Game 6. That's a game where the Yankee offense should definitely take advantage of that scenario. Now that also means that the Astros would have Garrett Cole in Game 7 on full rest against Luis Severino, who hasn't been able to give the Yankees length, and at that point, the Yankee bullpen would be going for their fourth straight day. Of course, we don't know what the the Yankee bullpen is going to look like over the next couple of days so there is a disadvantage in the Yankees for the long term but I think most importantly for this series right now is winning these next two games and the rain out certainly gives that advantage to the Yankees thank you all for watching it's going to be a next fun couple of days I'll see you guys next time Venmo me 20 bucks and I burn this jersey next video